Over here, Wally. This way. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That was a great picnic, but Sally will be halfway through breakfast by now. Come on! a bear in distress if I ever saw one. But what about Sally? Well, every now and then, a, a bear has to sacrifice something. And this is one of those times. That poor fellow needs rescuing. And we're the bears to do it. <sighs> Easy does it. Huh? Oh, no! Look at this mess. There's only one place for you. Where is she taking you? Whoa! Oh. Whoa! We've got to help! Wally, wait! Oh, no. if you'd lent a paw. Sorry, Ben. I was just uh, trying to move this box. Let someone with a little more padding have a try. Push, Wally. There isn't much time. It's no use. Just forget it. I can't reach him. Keep trying. Oh. Don't worry about me. But... Wally, there's no time. There's nothing we can do now. Good luck. Luck? Wally, be careful. No bear deserves an end like that. Uh, excuse me. Huh? C can I have that teddy bear? It's Sally. It sure could use a new home. Thanks, mister. Goodbye. I'll see you around, kid. Yes. Sally, what is that? It's a teddy bear. Put it down immediately. You can't touch things like this. You don't know where it's been or who it's been with. It could be covered in germs. It was in a garbage pail. Someone was going to throw him out. Well, maybe it was time somebody did. Maybe if he was all washed up, he'd look more like a bear that needs a new home and not like a bear that needs to be thrown out. You never take things out of the garbage. It could have fleas or worse. He deserves a chance. It's not sanitary. Just one little chance. All right. I'll put this dirty little mess of a bear into the washing machine and see how he fares. After that, we'll decide. I only hope he can hold himself together. I don't know, Sal. There might be nothing but stuffing when he's done. 
It's going to take a lot of loving and wishing to save this bear. He's going to make it. I just know it. Oh. And that's why my python cuddles is a special thing. Uh, how intriguing. Now, Mrs. Windover and class, I'd like you to make our new student, Tara, feel, uh, welcome. There you are. Come on out, Tara. Don't be shy. Mrs. Windover will take care of you. All right, class. What do we say to Tara? Hello, Tara! Oh, my. We've been talking about special things today. Perhaps you'd like to tell us what is special to you so that we can get to know you a bit better. Yes, well, Tara will tell her story when she's more comfortable. It will be no time before you'll feel at home. You'll be sitting here. Gee, Ben, do you think he's gonna make it? As much as I love a good bath, I have tight seams and they hold together. I don't think anything much is gonna hold together on him, Ben. Miss Windover said you lived on my street. Maybe we could walk home together. So, did you just move here? Uh-huh. That's really exciting. Yeah. I've never moved. I've lived in the same house all my life. Kind of boring. We had to leave my friends behind. You did? My mom and dad had to sell our house. Oh. My mom and dad moved here, and now I don't have my house or my friends. You have me. We could be friends. Oh, no. Look at that. He fell apart. Maybe he'll look better when he's dry. There. You two keep an eye on him. I'll be back. Is he okay, Ben? I hope so. Um, Ben? Yeah, Wally? I'm getting dizzy. Oh, boy. You're a mess. I've got an idea. A really good idea. Hold on. Help is on the way. Hmm. Let's see. Perfect. This will do. Mom will see how nice he is, and then she'll let me keep him. Ta-da! All back together, Mr. Bear. You look, well, intriguing. I think that means interesting. Come on, Wally. Help me find him something to wear. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Ben, and my friend is Wally. I'm just Bear. He never gave me a name. Absolutely no name whatsoever? None. Every bear deserves a name. I don't. Hmm. Let's see. Wally? Wally? How'd you get down there? You'd fall off anything, you silly bear. Your old shirt. It'll be the right size. Wally, you're a genius. She'll be here any minute, and I'm going to need your help. Tara is very shy, has no friends, and it's up to us to change that. Got it? Good. That's her. I'm going to be fluffy and stuffy and cute. That will make Tara feel comfortable. How about you, Ben? Ben? All children love bears. 
that's just the way it is. Here they are. This is Wally. He's my bear. And this is Ben. He's Simon's, but he lets me play with him, too. And this is... This one is Busted. Yeah, but he's cute. Maybe you should call him Buster. Buster? Uh-huh, Buster. I like that name. Buster is your new name. Thanks, Tara. such a sad bear. I should have been taken away by the garbage truck. Really? No bear belongs in a garbage truck. I do. You're a young bear. All right, you're a little ripped, but you certainly are a lovely one-eared bear. Sally is a kind, loving little girl. According to the teddy bear rules, we give love and are loved right back. Not where I come from. Peoples are a teddy bear's best friend. Right, Ben? Ben? Buster? Run! Stop! Bad dog! This is not food! This is bear! What are we gonna do, Ben? We've gotta get help. Teddy bear rules. Rule number two, never let a people see you move. I keep forgetting that one. Sorry, Ben. That's okay. We've got to get Sally. <gasps> Hurry, Ben. Buster needs us. <sighs> Just a little further. <sighs> ah, I got it. Rain with its whistle uh, would be easy to wind. Uh, there! One. Two. Oh no! The whistle didn't work! I think it's time for risky measures. Right. One, two. What's that? Buster? Buster! Slurp! Stop! Oh, slurp. Do you think you could have a hospital ready for tomorrow after school? I think he'll need an operation. I say any bear who has held on through so much and a little girl who has done so much to help him deserves a helping hand. Oh, Mom, thank you. So, Mom is going to try to fix Buster. I hope she can. Poor little ripped up there. I kind of know how he feels. You do? Uh, 
stuffing? Stuffing. Needle? Needle. Scissors? Scissors? <sighs> Sweater and scarf? Sweater and scarf? Buster is brand new. Ben, isn't he amazing? Thanks, Mom. He's great. Hmm. He still has a really sad face. This is still one sad little bear. Take it easy. You could pop your stitches. Wanna play? Uh, no thanks. I think it's about time you and I had a little talk. So, tell me, Buster, why are you such a sad bear? I'm just not a very good teddy bear. I know teddy bears are supposed to love people, but... But what? Well, I'm afraid this family is nice. But my family wasn't. I know we have to keep secrets. But I can't keep this secret anymore. The boy I lived with threw me at the cat, left me out in the rain, and worse, he never loved me. You met one mean little boy. You're going to have to learn to trust again. I just can't. Trust me. Our peoples will love you. We do. You bet. No peoples will ever love me. <sighs> this is a bear that is far too sad for his own good. What he needs is a little cheering up. Cheering up? That's a perfect job for a teddy bear. I want to show you something beautiful. place. Ben and I can here to play when all the peoples are asleep. Buster, you're going to be just fine. I'm just not sure. You will. You'll see. And soon you'll be ready to trust again. Do you think so? You, you bet. bet. I'm worried about Tara. She's so lonely. I know it's hard for her, but she doesn't even try to be friends. Well, sweetie, Tara's been through a lot. I wonder if she isn't afraid of becoming friends because she might lose you, too. Really? She doesn't have very many toys. Maybe I could give her one of mine. That sounds like a perfect idea to me. There. Perfect. 
She'll like one of these. That's her! Tara should choose Buster. He should be with the other toys. I just can't do it. You can do it. We know you can. I'm just not good enough. You'll be great! I can't do it. Look out, Buster! Oh. oh, no. I've got to do something. Stop, dog. I said stop. Now sit. I said sit. You saved us. You did it. I did do it. I can do it. I know you had to leave everything behind. And I have more toys than I can play with. Choose what you like. Buster! Buster? Now, how did you get there? You look almost like a new bear. You look beautiful. Perfect. Huh? Buster needs a new home, and you have one. I... Maybe he can help you not feel lonely anymore. Bears are good at that. You mean it? He really needs someone to love him. I can do that. I'm going to love living here. Now that I have you and Buster. Wally, remember, never let a people see you move. Huh? There you are. Tara, did you pick out a toy? You won't believe it. She chose Buster. She gave him to me. I can't believe it. Neither can I. Now that's an ending every bear deserves. You bet. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Wally. Thank you for everything. Any bear would help a friend. <laughs>